The fourth word of Jesus from the cross comes from the 15th chapter of Mark's Gospel, verses 33 to 34, we read, And when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Brothers and sisters, for many people, this is the strangest word of the cross, the most baffling word from the cross, because the one who is speaking it is God. And he is saying to God the Father, Why have you forsaken me? Of course, we know in reality that God cannot possibly forsake himself. God cannot forsake his own Son because they are... God from God, light from light, true God from true God, Jesus is. So the Father cannot possibly forsake him because he is one in being with the Father. So something else is going on here, obviously. And we understand what's going on here when God himself says, My God, why have you forsaken me? As soon as we can understand how it is that God has a mother, even though he existed from all eternity, and how God can die even though he's immortal. It's the mystery of God taking upon himself our human nature. God cannot die. God can't be born. God can't be forsaken. And yet, by taking upon himself a human body, and a human soul, he was able to be born, he was able to die, and he was able to say this prayer, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Because he deliberately decided to share in our sense of being forsaken and abandoned. He decided to share in our darkness. Isn't it interesting that at the time that he speaks this word, darkness covered the whole land. Notice, it didn't just cover where he was. It covered the whole land. God symbolizing by sending that darkness, that this sense of abandonment that Jesus was feeling was representing a darkness that does indeed cover not just the whole land, but the whole world and all of history from the very beginning. Because that's what sin brought into the world. When we forsake God, we are going to feel forsaken. If we abandon God, we're going to feel abandoned. Did you ever see the little cartoon that shows somebody sitting all by himself on a rock looking pretty abandoned and sad? And the caption is, if God feels far away, guess who moved? Scripture tells us in the Psalms that for God, the night is as clear as the day. He doesn't move away from us. We move away from Him. But in the times of darkness that is brought about primarily because we move, primarily because we sin, we forsaking Him, even in those times of darkness, or in the times of darkness that come about not because of sin, but simply because we live in a broken world where circumstances conspire at times against us and things can fall apart around us even when we are innocent of sin in all those kinds of darkness God is no further away his love isn't any less towards us the intensity of his focus on us isn't any less the availability of his grace hasn't diminished. For him, the night is as clear as the day. Because when the times come when we have more questions than usual, God has just as much clarity. 
When the times come that we doubt, his certainty is just as sure as it ever was. He knows exactly what we're going through. He knows exactly how we feel. He decided to take upon himself this abandonment so that he, God himself, could close that gap forever. So that for us, no matter how strong the feelings are that God is far away or that we're far away from him, no matter how strong that experience is, we know, thanks to the fact that Jesus spoke these words, that that door of access is always open for us. That we can always be reconciled with God. There are sins that cannot be forgiven. But the only type of sin that cannot be forgiven is the sin of which we do not repent. Every sin of which we repent indeed can be forgiven. God wants to forgive it. It is only when we say the door is going to remain closed, it is only when we refuse the reconciliation, when we abandon the grace of repentance, only then is it not forgiven. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Is a word that assures us that he will never forsake us. And it is a word meant to give us strength never to forsake him. Amen.